The Gordie Howe International Bridge is a groundbreaking project set to redefine cross-border connections between the United States and Canada. With construction completion planned for September 2025 and the first vehicles expected to travel across the bridge that fall, the long-awaited opening will mark a significant milestone in transnational connectivity. Despite the delays caused by various issues, the bridge is on track to be a vital transportation route fostering economic and social ties between the US and Canada. But why is this bridge so significant? In this video, we'll unravel the details of this monumental project, diving into the intricacies of its design, construction, and the significant role it's poised to play in facilitating seamless travel and business. And for more videos like this, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. Let's start with an overview of the project. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, also known as Pont International Gordie Howe, is a cutting-edge cable-stayed international bridge under construction, spanning the Detroit River. During its development phase, this ambitious project initially dubbed the Detroit River International Crossing and the new International Trade Crossing is poised to connect Detroit and Windsor seamlessly. The bridge will achieve this by linking Michigan's Interstate 75 with Ontario's Highway 401, facilitated by the Right Honourable Herb Gray Parkway extension of Highway 401. Unlike the existing Ambassador Bridge, owned by billionaire Manuel Matty Maroon, which funnels traffic onto city streets on the Ontario side, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is engineered to provide uninterrupted freeway access streamlining the commute for travellers. Proposed in the early 2000s, the Gordie Howe International Bridge faced significant opposition from Maroon, concerned about potential competition impacting his profits, and staunchly opposed the idea of a publicly owned bridge. Despite this objection, the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, a Canadian Federal Crown Corporation, was established in 2012 to oversee the construction and management of the bridge. So how did the bridge get its name? The name pays tribute to the legendary Canadian ice hockey player Gordie Howe. Renowned for his exceptional 25-year career with the Detroit Red Wings, Howe's legacy is commemorated through this significant infrastructure project. Interestingly, construction kicked off just two years after Howe's passing, adding a poignant layer of connection between the bridge and the iconic sports figure. As the bridge takes shape, it becomes not just a physical link, but a symbol of seamless connectivity and a nod to the sporting greatness of Gordie Howe. How significant is the new bridge, and what led to its construction? The Detroit River Passage, connecting the United States and Canada, has held significant importance since the American Civil War era. Initially, ferries were the primary means of transporting goods and people across the river. Subsequently, key infrastructure developments transformed the landscape. Railway tunnel opened in July 1910, followed by the Ambassador Bridge for road traffic in November 1929, and the Detroit-Windsor Tunnel for road transportation in 1930. Notably, the Ambassador Bridge stands out as the busiest crossing along the Canada-United States border facilitating almost a quarter of all US-Canada border truck crossings. However, criticism has surrounded the bridge due to its monopoly status, with trucks being exclusively routed over the bridge and not permitted through the tunnel. Moreover, Manuel Maroon has faced scrutiny for the bridge's subpar maintenance record. An additional challenge arises from the lack of direct highway connections on the Canadian side for both the bridge and the road tunnel. Instead, city streets and traffic lights create bottlenecks between these crucial border crossing points and Ontario Highway 401. The limitations and critiques of the existing infrastructure highlight the pressing need for the Gordie Howe International Bridge promising enhanced connectivity, reduced traffic congestion, and improved efficiency for cross-border transportation. Let's dive into the design. The cable-stayed bridge, envisioned by Eric Behrens, the chief bridge architect at ACOM, boasts a striking design with two imposing A-shaped bridge towers, 
each reaching an impressive height of 220 meters. Positioned along the banks of the Detroit River, these towers serve as crucial supports for the road deck, which in turn relies on 216 cable stays, creating a captivating visual and engineering spectacle. Distinguishing itself as a marvel of engineering, this bridge claims to have the longest main span of any cable-stayed bridge in North America, stretching to an impressive 853 meters. The entire bridge spans 2.5 kilometers, reaching a height of 46 meters above the Detroit River at its highest point. Functionality meets innovation as the bridge accommodates six lanes for automotive traffic and includes a dedicated bicycle and walking path. The infrastructure surrounding the bridge is equally impressive. On the US side, a sprawling 68-hectare port of entry will feature border inspection facilities seamlessly connected to Interstate 75 through dedicated highway ramps. Meanwhile, on the Canadian side, a 53-hectare port of entry will accommodate toll collection, border inspection and bridge maintenance facilities, all directly linked to Ontario Highway 401. As the anticipated daily traffic crossing the border is projected to surge from the current 18,500 vehicles to 26,500 by 2025, the Gordie Howe International Bridge emerges as a pivotal solution to ensure a smooth and efficient flow of people and material goods between the United States and Canada. Now let's get into the construction details. The Gordie Howe International Bridge construction commenced on July 17, 2018, marked by a groundbreaking ceremony led by Minister of Infrastructure Amarjeet Sohi and Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. Subsequently, on September 28, 2018, the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, or WDBA, announced that the project's total cost would be $2.84 billion US dollars as part of a larger $4.3 billion contract with the Bridging North America Consortium. In 2019, preliminary activities geared toward major construction unfolded, including the cleanup of contaminated land. Notably, a hurdle emerged when the Michigan Republican Party attempted to halt spending by the Michigan Department of Transportation, or MDOT, on the bridge, even with the assurance of reimbursement by Canada. Thankfully, this opposition was overcome, allowing the project to proceed. The year 2020 saw the design unveiling, coupled with the initiation of work on the foundations for the bridge towers. However, the construction faced challenges due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, requiring changes in working practices, travel restrictions, and addressing material shortages. By January 2021, the foundation work for the bridge towers had been completed, marking a crucial milestone. In March 2021, attention shifted to the Canadian port of entry with the commencement of construction for the essential buildings. As of March 2022, significant progress was made, marked by the completion of bridge legs on both sides of the Detroit River and the initiation of road deck construction. By November 2022, more than 150 metres of the bridge towers had been successfully constructed. By May 2023, the installation of cables, essential for supporting the future bridge deck, had already commenced. At its peak, around 2,300 individuals were actively contributing to the construction effort. Entering January 2024, the WDBA made a significant announcement stating that the bridge's opening was rescheduled for fall 2025. Who are the contractors involved? Recognizing the strategic importance of this project, Transport Canada enlisted the expertise of reputable engineering firms, including Morrison Hirschfield, Davis Langdon and Delcan. These firms were tasked with developing comprehensive cost estimates covering various aspects of the project on the Canadian side of the crossing. This included assessments for right-of-way and utility relocation, design and construction, as well as operation and maintenance. The meticulous planning and estimation process underscores the commitment to meet the current demands of cross-border traffic 
and anticipate and accommodate the expected growth in the coming years. And there you have it, the fascinating Gordy Howe International Bridge, a true marvel connecting nations. What are your thoughts on this engineering masterpiece? Share in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed exploring the details of this remarkable infrastructure project, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until our next exploration, stay connected and happy travels!